set condition one. I repeat, set condition one. This is not a drill. We're told that science fiction can be inspiring and useful for future military thinking. Okay, let's put it to the test. This is the the one one of the weaknesses of the very high speed supersonic hypersonic missiles is the fact that if they do take an impact, because they're going so fast, they are their own worst enemy. If you're using like a Zircon and it's traveling at Mach 5, all of a sudden the impact of that half a gram of aluminium at Mach 5 is a heck of a lot worse than the, the same impact at a few hundred miles an hour. If you've suddenly got to deal with the fact that, hang on, there's going to be flak, there's going to be all these things, your your whole idea of your large striking missiles is you overwhelm the missile defences because there's only so many missiles they can carry. Ships can carry a, a whole lot more flak. If you can create an, you know, an environment that's hostile enough that modern missile technology, no matter how much machine learning you give them, is just going to get horribly confused, and let's face it, there's nothing better at causing organised chaos than humans, um, the... It's why I have no fear we would actually actually win the war with an AI because they would not under be able to deal with the sheer amount of chaos we would have created. You see these kind of errors, I mean, even in really basic things like the YouTube algorithm, for example. Uh, probably all three of us have experienced this. YouTube boasts about its algorithm having, I mean, how many videos has you, the, the algorithm had a chance to review? It's got billions upon billions of hours of machine learning. It still screws up all the time and flags perfectly fine naval history videos and says, oh, I don't believe this content is appropriate for advertisers. When yes. it turns out every time it goes to, to manual review, a human goes, what on earth are you talking about, you moronic machine? My I think troll we're... video on Force K got mm. flagged for pornography. Yeah. What in the name of? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And I think this is going to be this is actually going to be a major decision point for a lot of militaries going forward because they're going to be trading off um, data density versus functionality because you can have a wonderful network warfare system where everything talks to everything else and you have all the possible information but the minute if you've got that you've then got hundreds if not thousands of potential access points and it only takes one of them to fail and you're stuffed you need to balance it you need that information connectivity because you need the information but you also need to try and give yourself some protection you need to have a system that you can go, if the computer stops working, do I have a backup to that? Mm. You oh, can't it's... allow yourself to have a single point of failure. And I look forward to the human uh, human AI hybrids, the cyborgs, mm. one day rule us. Um, I am sure they're coming.